to let us run the vagrant and I've just say SSH and that will give us SSH connection to the vagrant box, the homestead box that we just uh, configured. So we can see that homestead and we are over here and uh, it uh, successfully says that this is uh, Ubuntu uh, Linux uh, which is 18.04 version and uh, let's check a directory so we are inside a code directory and uh, what we will do is uh, we need to now uh, check for the composer so C-O-M-P-O-S-E-R-C -E -C, whether the composer is installed so the composer is installed and if you go to the Laravel installation uh, it says that we need to run a composer command to create a to first create a Laravel installer, installer using a composer or else we can directly go and create using a project this one if you don't want to install a Laravel installer so let's install, install this one so composer global require Laravel installer so let us run this command over here and that will take some time to just uh, configure everything the Laravel installer for us and once the install Laravel now we can use a Laravel new command to create a fresh Laravel installation in the in the directory switch file so we can just say uh, Laravel new block to create a new uh, directory name which is a block so that can be come from over here if you go back over to our homestead um, the YML file and you can see that we have configured something over here which is a block the code block and this should be our directory so we have to so make use of that one mm, so let's go back and we need to create a laravel new block so let's go back so everything is done over here so we just say as uh, so we need to you can just create uh, this laravel uh, let's say l-a-r-a-v laravel new and the uh, folder that you want to create or the directory so we just say vlog block and this will go and install our Laravel project for us and it may take some time depending on if you have previously installed the Laravel then it will, will take some from the catch and it will not take some time so we have re I have previously run this command so that's why it's uh, quite fast but it may take some time on your side so uh, that's uh, let's go and see whether we are you can see we have a blog so I think we made a mistake because we are inside the we need to go inside the code to make this block because uh, because we have mentioned it in our uh, over here which is the which uh, which is resides inside the background uh, code and the block but actually we uh, downloaded and installed inside this one so let's go and go inside the code directory so cd we just say cod code and let's go inside and we don't have anything so let us run that command one more time which is a laravel new block and let us create a directory over here for our block and by that we should go back to our documents and the website and you can see the block folder is created over here so that's it the laravel installation project installation has been successfully added over here on the next step is to just launch this project and start working with it so we are installing so just hold on so it may take a bit time this is a new directory that's why it will take some time to download from the cache and let's wait for this one to finish that so now we can see that application has been ready and built something amazing and the package manifest everything is working fine so we just need to open the project in our uh, IDE. So I'll be using uh, PHP Strom. So uh, let me go back to this directory where it's our location of our website. So I'll be using the blog. So uh, let me go and open a project from our PHP Strom. So I'll be using that one. So I'll just select the blog from here and just click on OK. And uh, just click on uh, new New Window. So it may it will go and open a project for us so just hold on and so everything looks fine and the project is loaded and let's uh, next step is let's go and test our 
web server is running or not so for that we can just go and copy our the domain name that we created which is block the test and let us open that one and you can see we have a laravel project successfully installed and we can also access it using the ip address that we provide over here let's copy this and just paste it over here so that is also point to the same one so that's it for and we have successfully installed a laravel using a homestead and configure everything for our project and the next step is to working to start working with our project so the, this is our project file that we need to work and we'll continue with our lesson in the next video till then have a great day